This is for kids only. When I say three, you want to say, <laughs> this is for kids only. You ready? One, two, three. This is for kids only. This is for only kids. Hey kids, Petaluma Pete here, and we are not in downtown Petaluma today, but we are out here at the Petaluma Airport for a very good reason. And we're going to learn a new word today. That word is flight. You ever heard that word before? Well, if you want to know more about it, come with me. The Wright brothers changed everything when they flew the world's first successful airplane kids on December 17, 1903. What does that have to do with Petaluma? Well, seven years later, a young adventurer named Fred Wiseman made the first air mail flight to Santa Rosa from Petaluma. People on the ground looked up and wondered what the somebody was doing driving a strange looking air machine at the perilous height of 100 feet. Did you know there is even a memorial to Fred Wiseman right here in Petaluma, kids? Well, that's just the beginning, because soon all of Sonoma County will celebrate Wiseman's historic flight with a huge 100th anniversary party. And part of that celebration includes the Petaluma Airport Wiseman Centennial Celebration Program on February 19, along with Petaluma Pete's first annual Fred Wiseman Kids Only Plane Ride, absolutely free to the lucky kid whose name is picked in a random drawing right there at the airport during the event. Have you ever explored a real plane up close, kids? Have you ever seen the inside where the people sit and look out the window? Well, real planes will be on display on the 19th, so you can do just that. And, if you are the winner of this plane ride, your flight pattern will take you right over downtown Petaluma. But this is not just any random flight pattern, kids. No, no, no. You will follow the official. Petaluma Pete flight pattern that was actually flown by retired Petaluma Airport manager Mike Gloss. And Petaluma Pete sure hopes you can push an airplane around all by yourself like this when you're Mike's age. Mike took Petaluma Pete up into the sky in his plane so we can show you now what you will be able to see if you win. Clear prop. <laughs> It was a perfect day, kids. We sat on the runway waiting for incoming planes to land, which Mike says always takes priority. And as we rolled down the runway, all we could think about was the lucky kid who would be seeing what we were about to see. Now here's a map featuring downtown Petaluma, kids, and as you can see, the airport is across the 101 freeway indicated by this blue circle. So, up, up, and away you will fly in this big blue circle where you will be able to take in the rolling hills that are east of downtown and the view is amazing. Make sure you choose a day when the sky is a beautiful blue and you can see forever now in keeping with the Petaluma Peak flight pattern, you will then make this big long turn, kids, so you can view Lucchese Park in all its glory with the big lake behind it glistening in the sun. Wow, I had no idea it was so big. So that takes care of circle number one, kids. Back to our Petaluma map and you will see your next destination indicated by this new red circle. On the way there, you will pass over the Sonoma Marin Fairgrounds. Look out the window and you'll recognize the racetrack way down below. The wind is so strong it makes the camera shaky. Hard to hold on to. You'll also recognize the two big beautiful towers of the St. Vincent Church, kids, and it's fun to look all around and try to figure out where you live in relationship to this landmark. Drop 
bridge is up. Now let's go back to the map and add this big green circle, kids, where you will cross directly over the heart of the city to get there and probably spot the mighty Seth clock tower at Petaluma Pete's favorite corner. It's too windy, Captain. I can't hold it steady. Usually you have to look way up to see this clock, but now you'll be looking way down at it, along with all the other old rooftops in the coolest downtown in the history of mankind. In keeping with the Petaluma Peak flight pattern, your Petaluma map will now present the fourth and final circle, an orange circle. And you will then head back across the freeway, but not before flying over more neighborhoods, where you might even see your very own house. For your return, as you approach the airport after one more downtown flyover, kids, we hope you will have a better understanding of what Fred Wiseman accomplished 100 years ago. Also, let's take one last look at our map of Petaluma, and you will see now why we call it the Petaluma Peak Flight Pattern, kids. Because the route you just flew followed the shape of a musical symbol called a G-clef. This is to remind us that music in the schools is essential for a well-rounded education, but you already knew that. So here's how you enter. All you have to do is download and print this flyer, fill in the blanks, and bring it to the Petaluma Airport after 10 a.m. Saturday, February 19. You can also pick up one personally at the Petaluma Historical Museum, kids, and experience their contribution to Fred Wiseman's historic flight, running now to April 24. By the way, if you do win, make sure you have your picture taken with the pilot so you can show it to all your friends and go down in the Petaluma archives as the first kid to make this historic flight. Well, that about wraps it up, kids. We hope you are the one who wins the plane ride. Until next time, as always, remember to be nice to everyone, listen to your teachers, and eat more veggies.